My starting signal given now for the Burdekin Cup, the Carlton United Breweries Burdekin Cup. Conquering Judas locked away with Monastery Four Mile Lane and Joe's Giggle locked away. Kutabaru about to join the line. Miss Fabulicious about to come up into its spot, goes up. Prospertiva about to join them. Locked away, Chow Bicky still out of line with edification. Poets Day and Metal there to come up. Poets Day locked away. Chow Bicky goes in. Waiting for Metal and edification will be set to go. Edification goes up, one to come up, medal. About to join them and be ready to go for the 2024 Carlton United Breweries Burdekin Cup. They're set. They make a good line. Prospertiva in the centre, a bit bouncy. So too, Miss Fabulicious. Set, ready, go. They're away. Prospertiva was slow to begin and Conquering Judas was a low pretty slow. Monastery wants to lead. He goes to the front, but he's got uh, company out wide with Miss Fabulicious and Poets Day is coming across too. Also in that pack as they come past the post the first time was Four Mile Lane. Edification gets the next spot just behind that leading pack. Further back would have been Joe's Giggle. Three off the fence was Metal. About four wide Chow Bicky. Between them next was Cotabaru. Second last conquering Judas and Prospertiva after missing the kick is at the tail of the field. They head up towards the 1180 metre turn and the leader is Miss Fabulicious. It narrowly leads. On the outside is Poets Day. Four mile lane on the outside now makes a line of three as they pass the tennis club in the Burdekin Cup. They've got about three lengths clear from Monastery who's holding down fourth spot. Going around the outside, as they head down the back of the track was Edification. Chow Biggie's a little wide, and going through along the inside next was Joe's Giggle getting a lovely cart right into the race. Behind them next was Metal. It's in front of three runners. Prospertiva, it's taking off. Further back was Cotabaru and Conquering Judas whipped them in. Up to the top corner they travel. Just over 600 metres left to go. And Four Mile Lane poked his nose in front. But there's Monastery. The jockey said, let's go. And Monastery goes with Four Mile Lane. They've got a length and a half in front. Joe's Kegel's coming into it nicely. He's raced up into third. Behind them next was Poets Day, who's hoisted the white flag. Prospertiva's making ground metal, giving a couple of cracks of the whip forget the rest as they come to the home corner four mile lane the inside monastery in the center and joe's giggles the one joe's giggles joining in out wide may have hit the front it has joe's giggle hit the front of the cup monastery tries to go with it but joe's giggle is coming away oh he's gonna win a long way out joe's giggle bolts in second monastery third a photo probably metal just in front of four mile lane then prospertiva conquering judas Edification was a long way back, so too was Poets Day, Cotabaru and Chow Bicky was second last, and last of in was Miss Fombulicious. Joe's Giggle the winner, number eight. Joe's Giggle, Scott Shear Gold and Joanne Hassett. Number eight, Joe's Giggle first. Eight, six, four, and seven the numbers. Joe's Giggle. I tell you what, that horse is going beautiful up towards that top corner. It just started pinching runs along the inside. It was pulling its way into the race. And when they came off the uh, around the circle, it got in, joined in three wide, and it was just always going to win. Joe's Giggle, Scott Sheargold, and Joanna Hassett. Number eight, the winner. Three and a half by one and a quarter of the margin. So it's one easy in the end. Three and a half, one and a quarter, and Joe's Giggle has taken out the Cult and United Breweries Burdekin Cup for 2024. Eight, six, four, seven, three and a half, one and a quarter, Joe's Giggle. There's your winner, folks. Number eight, Joe's Giggle and Scott Sheargold. Scott bringing the winner back. It's a chestnut gelding five by Fox Wedge out of Song and Laughter. Owned by Jay Hassett and Mrs. Jay Felix. Well, there's a family affair. Joanna Hassett, the trainer, and Scott Giergold, the winning rider. 
Second, number six, Monastery. Carl Spry for Les Gordy in third, number four, medal, Adrian Late for Stephen Bush. Eight, six, four, and seven. Runners are back. We'll wait for the way in. We'll stand by for correct way or otherwise after the Burdekin Cup. Don't forget, folks, the fruit and veggie shed is now open. Grab yourself a box and fill up your box. Take it home free of charge of fruit and veggies. It's behind the main grandstand. You can't miss it. Free fruit and veg. Plenty of activities to finish off the afternoon after the racing is complete. So stick around. The bar's open. The food is pumping. And I'm sure there's a little bit of music going on as well. So party into the night here at the Burdekin. What's, can, that, can anyone see what Charlie's saying down there? Me? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we're just standing by for correct weight here after the last race. The Carlton and United Breweries Burdick and Cup taken out stylishly by Joe's Giggle, by Joanna Hassett. And Scott Sheargold, it's owned by Joanna's sister as well, Jenny. So there'll be a few sherbets on the way home, if I know them well. So just waiting for weight. Oh, come on, unsaddle the horse, love. 